Some people don't learn until they're 40. Some uh, people never learn. I thought I was going to be married with two kids at 23. Wow. <laughs> well, you could have been. Yeah. If, if I, you zigged when you could have zagged. Yeah, you I'm know. glad I zagged. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did. I'm glad I zagged for that one. That was so long ago. And I was, again, I'm soft, bro. I'm like, I'm surprised I'm great at this, this fighting shit. Like, I'm soft. Even, bro, do you see some some idiot try to step me out? Do you ever see that? No, what happened? Some, some. This is uh, two weeks, three weeks ago. I had a great, great day at training, morning. Went to the, 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 the shop to get a pie. And I just thought, you know, people were just showing love. I'm just, oh, hey, what's up? So I'll take a picture. Cool, 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 cool. And then one guy just pulls up and goes, yo, Izzy, let's go. One out. I'm like, eh. And I thought, like, bro, this is stupid. I was like. One out. What is so that? So one out in New Zealand slang, like, one on one. Like, one out. Let's go. And I was like. This is silly. Like, what the fuck? And I just started laughing. And I said, bro, I get paid millions for this. I'm not going to whoop your ass for free. And then he kind of got angry. And he's stuck at the lights. It's green. People are honking, driving around him. And I'm laughing, walking away with my pies in my hand. And I remember just looking like, what the fuck? And I grabbed my card and I went. <laughs> and that pissed him <laughs> off. Then he drove and then parked in front of my car. And I was like, okay took my watch off, and I told a guy, can you please call the cops? And I'm glad only one person actually decided oh, to help. Oh, I did see the video of that. I saw just a small clip of yeah. it. I, I didn't know exactly what was going on. Ah, just an idiot. But again, I'm glad one, this is the day and age of people just, boom, cameras out. Right. Because everyone who was around, everyone got their cameras out. There was only one guy who used his phone to call the cops when I asked him because I didn't want to hurt this guy. And this guy, I don't know if he was going through something or he was maybe cracked out or something. Because even the guy, the video that came out, it seemed like it was set up because the guy kept on going. And, the, and I'm like, what are you trying to say? And I, 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 I'm I, glad I, I, like I said, I'm soft. I have patience. And if I had a bad day, it might have been different. I, I like to say that because of freedom of thought. But also my friend, you know, Falvake got killed by senseless street violence. Right. This is something that we've talked about even in the film. It was something that we all had to go through because he got hit with a coward punch and then hit the ground and then boom, he's in a coma for about two weeks and then eventually they had to pull the plug. As I'm talking to this guy, at one point I go, bro, I don't know you. Like, whatever has happened, I don't fucking know you. I'm sorry. And he's like, yeah, talk to me nicely, bitch. Talk. I'm like, uh, and I started getting angry and then got to the point I spat at him and I, that was me like, I hoped he did something and then I'm like, right, I'm taking this guy out. But then when I spat at him, he just looked down and kept on talking. And I realized, you're not about this life. I'm not going to spend the next 10 minutes talking and yeah. meh, 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 to this and it guy. It just elevates him in his mind. That exactly. He, oh, he took yeah. his shirt off at the end. I got in my car. Duh. I was driving off. He had his shirt off flexing like, what, bitch, what? And I was like, no, this nigga's cracked out. Oh, he's a crazy person. So for me, again, that's why I say I'm soft. And uh, I had to I had to really hold myself back. I, I don't know. I'm sure you've no one tries you anymore, of course. They'd fucking be stupid to try you. But I was thinking no one would try me anymore because back in the day, someone would try me. I'm like, bro. Bro, people were trying Chuck Liddell in his prime, and he was a complete psychopath. Try people, that to Dan Hooker. Yeah. Dan would not have the patience <laughs> that I have. Dan would fucking instantly demolish that guy. But again, I just don't want to do something. Because if you breached the line, yeah, I was within range and within my rights to strike him because I felt and like what happened with your friend if you knock that guy out and he bounces his head off that the was curb what was dies. going that was what was going through my head yes and also we started this charity walk without fear and I I'm glad nothing happened I'm glad I was patient because now that video can be used because we're trying to change the laws look the guys that killed my friend when we were in lockdown they were on home detention so they're free now they're walking free enjoying their life and my friend is dead they As didn't a, get convicted i think one of them did but the rest of them they had home detention the ones that actually even helped they got home detention and i think for a year and a half so six months of that home detention we all did it together in lockdown so what kind of punishments that you get to sit at home and watch netflix and my friend's daughter has to grow up without a father you for know nothing. for nothing just because ego alcohol drunk mm. uh, this and that so again i'm glad I'm soft and I, I don't like I don't like confrontation. I don't but when it's time to get down, I will get down. And I, 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 
I've put it out enough. Like I, I, I want to protect my boundaries and shit like that. But I don't ever want to be put in a position where someone tries to set me up just so they can make money off me. But there will be a point if someone tries me enough that I will have to definitely defend myself. And there's no fucking referee in a street fight that's gonna drag me off a, off, off a person. In that, I see red, bro. Not that shit. I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I see red, bro. Is it the funniest shit? <laughs> Not that shit, bro. It's that's like, your own blood. <laughs> <laughs> I see red. You should see clearly. That's a ridiculous That's thing. Blood. Yeah, it's I've me. never heard anybody say I see red and it worked out well. But yeah, I just yeah, I'm glad it worked out well for me.